What's up guys, Sean here. So we're out on this beautiful day with the DJI Mavic Mini and we're gonna go through quick shots. There are four quick shots available in the DJI Mavic Mini. There is the Droney, the Rocket, the Circle, and the Helix. So we're gonna hit each one of those in this tutorial. Um, I would encourage you the first time you try your DJI Mavic Mini quick shots um, to do them out in an open field so that you've got plenty of room to figure out what the drone does because this is robotic flight guys this is automatic um, and you can't control exactly where the drone's going to go especially helix because it comes out in a circle and goes away so let's do it guys Alright guys, so one of the first things I like to do whenever I get a new drone is I like to take it to an open field and kind of open her up. Um, I want to see how it takes a turn, I want to see how long it takes to slow down if I'm going at a fast pace. Um, I really just want to test the drone out in an open scenario so I feel more comfortable flying it in tighter spaces later on. Okay? Every drone flies different, I don't care who you are. Um, every drone has different speeds, has different, um, you know, weight distribution, so it has to push a little harder or softer. So I like to take it out into an open field and fly around at first. So this is just showing you guys um, the field that we're flying at. Um, this is out in Franklin, Tennessee, and uh, we're going to do quick shots. The first quick shot we're going to do is a droney. The Droney is a quick shot that starts out in a selfie position and then it goes slowly backwards and up um, at the distance that you specify in the app. It's kind of like a selfie but with a drone. The Rocket is a quick shot that starts out in the selfie position just like the Droney shot but instead of going backwards it goes straight up in the air. I didn't think this was a very interesting shot but I thought that the shadow was pretty cool. The circle is a quick shot that allows you to fly around your subject in a circle. The characteristics of your flight are dependent on your distance from the subject and the altitude above the subject. In this example, I'm fairly low to the ground and I'm pretty close to myself. But in this example, the circle quick shot is much higher and much farther away from the subject so that will change how the circle looks so you can get a bunch of different effects from the same quick shot and last but not least we have the helix the helix is my favorite quick shot it's kind of a combination between the circle and the droney um, it flies around in a circular pattern but it also backs away at the same time so it creates a spiral um, and it's a very dramatic reveal of the subject and where the subject is so I think it's super cool guys now we're gonna do a field demonstration of what it looks like in the field and we're gonna use my Jeep as a subject so it's a little nicer to look at right guys Three, two, one. Now you can take over if any time there's an issue. All right, and what I like about the droney is it goes right back to where it was so I don't have to reframe the shot again. So we're going to go in here to quick shots and we're going to go to rocket. We're going to start. Three, two, one. 
So generally, if you're watching the drone, it could go straight up. So this is actually a pretty easy shot to, to get, no matter where you are. Um, but it's very, very dramatic, very cool. Um, but since it doesn't go way out and fly around in a circle, um, it will get a pretty good shot wherever it's at. So let's go to, let's do the altitude of 40 meters and do that. How are we on battery off? We're good. So we're going to grab the Jeep. Three, two, one. This is going to go one. up 40 meters. So that's 120 feet up in the air. Jeep looks good. Now this is so high up in the air, I will probably be in the shot. Oh no, I'm not gonna be in the shot, that's good. All right, we're turning down. So it took 3% of my battery to do that. Gosh, freaks me out next to that light pole. I'm so glad this drone is precise. You know what I mean, guys? Next one is circle. Um, and circle, depending on where you put your drone, is how the circle is going to go. Okay, guys, so I think if I back up to about here, we should be fine. So let's try it. Pretty low to the ground, but I think. Looking around, I think it's gonna be pretty good. So we'll try it. Three, two, one. Please don't hit a light pole. It is cool to rock around, to rock around. It's right on time, it's tricky. It's trick, 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 trick. It is cool to rock around, to rock around. It's right on time, it's tricky. Trick, 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 trick. All right, that was pretty advanced move, guys. I went around a light pole, what up? And there's other light poles behind it and there's no obstacle avoidance. So that will scare the poop out of me. Now we're gonna do the helix. All right, and we're going to pick my car again. And again, it's important that you're just on top of everything. Your drone's gonna go up the whole time, okay? But it's also gonna spread out. So if it gets close to that tree over there, three, two, I'm gonna cancel it. One. going to go wider and wider and it's going to go up so it's getting close to a tree over there but we are good and it's kind of hard to get out of this shot but that's pretty awesome that's so good 
Now it looks like it's getting back into position. So now we're gonna go the other direction and see what that does. Oh, that's so scary when a robot's like beelining for my Jeep. All right, now we're gonna go in this direction. So we gotta draw our square and let's start. Three, two, one. There it goes. I really hope it doesn't hit those trees over there. I don't think it will because this Circumference wasn't that as big as those trees over there, so we should be good. But I just hope it's up in the air pretty high by the time it gets there. Um, but this would be, oh, and if you see the follow me square is kind of getting off. So I hope it never loses that. So I'm not sure what it's going to do if it ever loses that. See how the rectangle is way off? All right, guys, that was my quick demonstration of quick shots on the DJI Mavic Mini. As always, there's links in the description to purchase the DJI Mavic Mini, as well as my Amazon idea board so that you can pick up gear that I talk about on this channel. Any purchases you make there will help the channel immensely, and I will be eternally grateful. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications of when I talk about the DJI Mavic Mini. Um, for action cameras, other drones, and yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.